Hello, right, well here we are again. Um, finally they have arrived. Um, the two bearings that I've been waiting for. Next thing is to um, get them changed. Now I've had a really kind offer from a gracious viewer, um, Michael Wade, Mick he likes to be called. Uh, apparently he's got a puller and says that it should do this. He's not guaranteeing it, but um, hey, it's an offer I can't refuse. So I'm now going to go over to his, he's only in the next village, um, and uh, collect a pulley that hopefully will achieve what I need it to do. So, back in. Okay, it. that's me back. Um, interesting little visit there, me meeting uh, Mick out there. Um, he lives even further remote than I do, um, right in the middle of nowhere. Um, but uh, very interesting little drive. Um, Yorkshire lad as well, so you see, he's got it up there. Right, there we have it, the puller. Now, um, we both came to the same conclusion. This side's gonna be a pig. The pullers won't get in there. This side, with no problem at all. I can easily put that on and pull the thing out. And it'll pull that off there. Relatively straightforward. Um, but that side, as you can imagine, we can't hook under it like it does there. Okay, conventional standard, pull it off. That should be straight away. Nice and easy. No problem at all. How wonderful it'll be if I could do the other side just as easy. Right, what I've done is I've um, basically had to malform the hand blade so that I can get this pulley in. There isn't any other way. It's going to be with the pulley. I can't think of any other way to get it in there. And I'll just have to straighten up the blade when I've finished. Hopefully. Ready she goes. And at last, there it is, off and gone. Now that needs reshaping. Um, but at least this one's got a stop on it, so I know exactly how far it's got to go. Okay, right. Clean up, level up, straighten up, reassemble. <laughs> right, with the old bearings finally removed, um, I've trued up again. Trued up. I've hammered straight, roughly. Um, the blades, the fan blades. Right, now, the next thing, to get these things on. Again, we have to add lid because we're not engineering workshop. We don't have the tackle that people, I guess, would probably use for putting these things on. Um, so, I don't know. I'm gonna do a bit of oil and a mallet. And I guess drifting that on would just need something the same size it. So this is a large socket. I think somewhere in the archives of my head, I've seen something like this before where you get a socket that fits the center nut there and you're hitting onto the metal part that's only just okay give that a try That's got it. Seems that's got it. Put 
electric smack just make sure that's tight the only thing that stops that moving it seems is the uh, tension of that it needs to be good and properly on okay that's that side done now then the other side how far this one goes on i don't know i'll get it as close as i can and then when i assemble the frame the, the body it should make it go any further than it needs to go but that there looks like the shadow line that was there originally okay so i'll aim at that Right, now to approach the body and just see how close that side is. Right, now the pan blade has to be on the same side as the chuck, but as you can see, it couldn't go through that anyway, so you can't really get it wrong, I would assume. Again, a little spray of oil, help things manoeuvre a little better. Well, that worked. <laughs> that noise is the fan. Assuming the back half will stay put down, so that's all this. Look at grinding on that. That's what I've got this one. And created. <laughs> Hopefully, it all wind. Right, first I just got to get that clear of the coil. That was all, I think. The point is not going to be grabbing it. Plenty of space there. Right, try and get the fire back in here. Okay. That's nice, sir. That's because it was needed the two bones. Now what I'm going to do is just bolt it all together and reconnect that and then that should be just a simple test. Well that's connected, I don't need to uh, put the cover on there. I won't put the chuck on yet, least things on, the least noise that can be made. So, moment of truth, let's get it tested. Just see if the noise level has gone down in it. Well if indeed it even works. First, let's just remind ourselves what it sounded like before I did this. Now that sounds sweet. A lot nicer than it was.
Right, well I've been uh, successful how to change bearings. There you go, I never thought I'd start trying to teach people how to do that. Um, but I'm not trying to teach you how to do it. At the end of the day, I ain't got a clue how to do it myself. I just had lived and it worked. I'm lucky. Right. Um, now, I was a little bit cautious when I was putting that back together. But, um, on the uh, uh, centre part of the motor, the arbor, I suppose, um, it's just a chunk of metal that spins inside. But it's got little grid lines on it. And being a layman, I ain't got a clue. I, I thought that was significant. Well, the vice very nicely chewed right into them um making it quite sharp so i mean i don't know if it was going to be detrimental to the way in which these motors work or not i didn't have a clue but i did know the sharpness needed to go so on the belt sander and i polished it all back off again which polished off even more of these grid lines but i was lucky it worked and it's had no problem with it at all so I don't really, still don't understand what all that is about, but at the end of the day, it's smooth now and it's leveled. Um, the bearing at the front has been replaced, it's now good. The bearing at the back replaced, it was good already. Um, and everything back to normal. Now I just need to get this jig set up so I can get this thing tested and I'll land. Um, which will be in the next one. Right, well, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.